Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. Hello, my Prince and Princesses, and welcome to Lesson 11. Welcome to the Auntie Kay Children's Sabbath school program. I'm happy, I'm joyful, I'm rejoicing that you decided to spend these beautiful Sabbath moments with me. We're together. We're going to learn so much about our Lord and Savior through story, through singing, through craft, th through everything, just spending time together. Hello once more. Before I go any further, let us go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's pray. This is the day, O oh Lord, that you have made. Let us continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this blessed Sabbath where we could commune with not just each other, but most importantly with you. Thank you for loving us and thank you for allowing us to experience this moment. And may we grow in you, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for saying your prayer with me. Again, as I said, we're on lesson 11 and we are looking at can't wait to tell. You know those moments where you have something you can't wait to run home and tell your best friend? Uh-huh. I'm assuming this is possibly what this story's got to be about. Can't wait to tell lesson 11. Did I say that I'm happy that you're here? I'm sure I did, but you know what? Saying it one more time just makes you know how much I really appreciate you being here with me. At this time, let us jump into our welcome. Hello and welcome to Auntie Kay's Children's South School Program where Prince and Princesses all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God through sign language, messages with Princess Malloray, character teachers from Nails, Nature Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Mary Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vincia, Test Your Knowledge with Quiz Kids, Hashtag Puzzle Fun, Enjoy Object Lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible Questions with Ask Pass Vanessa, Great Craft to Crafts and Good Yummy Goodness with the Girls Tasty Treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy, and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us. No matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture, welcome! So now that we've been welcomed, yes, we have been, it's now time for us to hear our message sign of the day, and I'm looking at it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until Princess Mallory shares it with us. So... Coming up next is our message sign of the day with, yes, Princess Marla Ray. Happy self of everyone. Let's sign together. I worship God when I tell others about my love for him. Thank you, Princess Marla Ray. Yes, and our message says, I worship God when I tell others about, mm -hmm, about what? It says, my love for him. Thank you, Princess Marla Ray. And after our message sign of the day has been signed and shared with us, it's now time for us to get our praises on. Yes. Our praise is on. It's sing a long time. <laughs> God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now. We can call him friend God sent his son He's the savior of the world And now We can call him friend Jesus Savior Jesus Savior We will tell everyone Jesus Sin 
son He's the savior of the world And now We can call him friend God sent his son He's the savior of the world And now We can call him friend Jesus
like starlight, it guides me closer to Him every day. out there are like Annie K that note was off it surely was but it was sing along time and you know I love to sing praises mm -hmm. and I hope you do too it's now time for our memory verse <laughs> Memory verse 11 is, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in my Savior. Luke 1, verse 46 and 47. And with our memory verse done, we have a princess coming up, Princess Davincia, and she's going to read our story for us. So it's story time with Princess Davincia. It's story time with me, Princess Davincia. Hi, boys and girls. It's story time. Can't wait to tell. Natasha had just learned to love and worship God. In some meetings that were held in her city, she learned that God had a special plan for her life. How happy she was. She couldn't wait to tell her family and friends about God's love. A long time ago, another woman also wanted to share her love for God. Wedding plans were being made for Mary, a young woman, and Joseph, her husband-to-be. Mary may have been thinking of how many day cakes she had to make before the wedding, or how much grape juice she would be needed for the feast. We'll never know just what Mary was thinking or doing that day. We do know she suddenly saw an angel in the room with her. The Bible says it was Gabriel, the same angel who visited Zachariah. But Gabriel didn't tell Mary his name. The angel went to her and said, Congratulations, favorite lady. The Lord is with you. Mary was troubled and confused. She wondered what the angel was talking about. Don't be frightened, Mary, he said. God is pleased with you. Very soon, you will become pregnant. You will have a baby boy, and you are to name the baby Jesus. And then, Gabriel told Mary about her cousin, Elizabeth, who was also expecting a miracle baby. Elizabeth's baby was to be born in just three months before the angel disappeared. Mary spoke, I am the Lord's servant. And I am willing to do whatever he wants. May everything you said come true. After Gabriel left, Mary must have sat down to think about this news. It was probably hard to believe she had actually spoken with an angel. And it was hard to believe that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant. Elizabeth was so old. 
Mary decided to visit Elizabeth. She wanted to talk to her about the angel's visit. Perhaps Elizabeth would understand how frightening yet exciting it was. So Mary gathered a few things together and went to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth was large and round with the growing baby. As soon as she heard Mary's voice, her baby kicked and squirmed inside of her. Elizabeth welcomes her cousin, giving Mary a huge hug. The baby inside me just jumped for joy, she said happily. Then she said to Mary, Are you favored by God above all the other women? And your child is destined for God's mightiness, praise? What an honor this is, that the mother of my Lord should visit me. And Mary said, My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God my Savior, for He has remembered me, His lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy because of this great things the mighty God has done for me. The two women sat down together. They shared with each other their trust in God. Mary must have been surprised because Elizabeth knew about Mary's baby before Mary could tell her. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months. She left just before Elizabeth's baby John was born. Mary must have believed that her own baby was a very special baby too. And these were special times for her and Joseph. Elizabeth made Mary's faith even stronger. That's how it is with telling others that you trust God and love Him. Both you and the other people love God even more. Worshiping God aloud helps everyone. Happy Sabbath! I'm Princess DaVincia and thank you for joining me for Storytime. Can't wait to tell. Oh, Princess DaVincia, thank you for reading our story for us. Mary couldn't wait to go to Elizabeth. Yes, she couldn't wait. I guess that's why the story was named Can't Wait to Tell. Oh, I can't wait to hear what Prince, Thim, and Nathan is going to share with us about what they learned from this story. Nathan, how are you? I'm good. Me too. I hope that the boys and the girls are fine. Yes, the boys and the girls are fine. Okay, Nathan, tell me, if you have you ever seen an angel? No. If you see an angel, what will you do? I'll be happy because God sent an angel to tell me a mission. Exactly. But if the angel if an angel come and tell you something good, will you will will you share it with your with your other your friends? Yes. Because yes. I like my friends. Yes, because that is what God wants us to do. He wants us to tell so, others. Tell others and tell friends. Yes. Well, boys and girls, remember. Remember. When you when. You have something good? Try others. Because that is how we serve God. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Prince Sam and Nathan, I was going to break out in song just now, but I had to catch myself <laughs> to catch myself but thank you so much friends them and nathan for sharing with us yeah what you would have learned and now it's time for us to get our thinking caps on turn crank up the volume on our ears because mm -hmm, now it's time for quiz kids who visited mary and gave an important message was it a the high priest B, Elizabeth, or C, an angel. C, an angel. The angel told Mary that A, that Elizabeth was having a baby girl, B, that she would become pregnant, or C, that she was getting married. 
B. That she would become pregnant. What did the baby do when Mary visited Elizabeth? A. He kicked. B. He laughed. Or C. He cried. A. He kicked. How many months did Mary stay with Elizabeth for? A. Five months. B. Three months. Or C. Seven months. B. For three months. Hashtag puzzle fun. Hashtag puzzle fun is coming up mm -hmm, right now. Can't wait to tell puzzle. Directions. Untangle the following sets of letters to learn the names of the two mothers to be and their husbands. I believe this one is very easy. Uh huh. It's Mary and Joseph. And then it would be Elizabeth and Zachariah. Oh, this one was easy this week. But thank you for helping me with Puzzle Fun. With hashtag Puzzle Fun done, Quiz Kids done, it's now time for us to hear our object lesson. Here, our object lesson with Auntie Patty Pat. Hey boys and girls, I was just getting ready to drive, sitting in the comfortable car and holding on to the steering, switching it on, but then I thought about something. I want to show you something that I just learned. I'm going to switch the car off and look at this. I open the bonnet and look inside the engine. This is the engine cover and all the combustion takes place in here. This, boys and girls, is the horn. And this is the radiator. And over here we have the battery, we have the brake fluid, we have the filter over here somewhere. I don't remember where he said. What's this again? What's this again? The See? air filter? Ah, oh, that's the air filter. And we have fuses in here and there and we have a coil here boys and girls before I opened the engine I wouldn't have a clue how the car worked I just sit in it and I drive and it takes me where I want to go but not until I opened the bonnet and looked inside did I really really know what made it go and you know it's the same thing with us People see you all the time and you're looking good and you're functioning and you're happy but they don't really know what's going on inside of you and unlike the car engine that I can open the only way they can know what's going on in your heart is if you tell them so when you tell others about God's love that's how we honor him we worship him by letting other people know what's happening on the inside of us so you need to tell everybody how much you love God. That's what's in your heart. And that's how you worship Him. Thank you, Auntie. Nope, sing it right, Annie K. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat, for our object lesson and another great one. And after our object lesson, it's now time for our Bible question with... Ask Pastor Nasa. Hi everyone, my name is Ezron from Canada. My question for Pastor Nasa is, what material is heaven made out of? Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. But you know, in the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 18, the Bible says, the construction of its wall was of jasper and the city was pure gold like clear glass. You see boys and girls, if you read the entire Revelation chapter 21 and 22, you're going to see that heaven is going to be made up of all types of precious stones and jewels. That's right. 
God used his creativity and his imaginative power to make something totally amazing. It's going to have a gold and, and jasper and pearl and all other sorts of precious metals that's going to create all of the architecture, the houses and the buildings and the city. It's going to blow your minds. But the only way that we're going to really know for sure, the only way you're going to be able to see for yourself is if you give your lives to Jesus. That's right. If you give your lives to him today, he promises to come into your heart and stay with you until he comes again. How many of us want to go to heaven for ourselves? I know I do. Then let's give our lives to Jesus today and he will ensure that you make it there too. See you next time. Pastor Nasa, pa I was trying to do the bass. That wasn't working. But you know what, Pastor Nasa, thank you so much. And thank you for that question. Whew. What are the materials that heaven's going to be made up of? Ooh, all of those precious gems, all of those stones. It's going to be glorious. I want to see it. And I hope you do too. And the way for us to see heaven and touch all those marvelous things is for us to give our hearts to Jesus, invite him in so that we could be saved so that one day we will be in heaven amongst all those awesome and nice things. Thank you so much again, Pastor Nasa, and thank you for that question. And so now at Polly, she's on Crafty Crab Corner, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, waiting to share with us the craft for this week. angel thank you so much and i love the colors it's nice and cheerful thank you aunt polly and now it's time for us to hear our mission story <laughs> amazing unexplainable god that's the topic for our mission story junior missed home so much he missed his uncles and his aunties. He missed his grandparents. He especially missed mother and father. Junior missed his family because he was studying at a Seventh-day Adventist boarding school far from home. When Junior finished eighth grade, his big wish was to go to an Adventist high school for ninth grade. But there was no Adventist high school in his country of Tuvalu. Tuvalu is a tiny country of nine islands in the Pacific Ocean. So, Junior prayed, God, 
Please help me to go to an Adventist school, he prayed. His uncles and aunties also prayed. His grandparents prayed and mother and father prayed. God answered their prayers in an amazing way. Junior was able to go to an Adventist high school in another country, Fiji. But to get to this school, he had to fly two and a half hours on an airplane from his home in Tuvalu to his new school in Fiji. Junior was so happy that God had answered his prayers. He was so happy to study at Nuvasu Adventist High School, but he missed home. Then something bad happened. A mosquito bit Junior and he fell ill with dengue fever. He felt terrible. Then something even worse happened, COVID-19. Far away in Tuvalu, Junior's family decided that he should fly home. His family was eager to meet him at the airport, but because of COVID-19 rules, no one could give Junior a hug or even shake his hand. Instead, Junior was taken away to a special quarantine home. He had to stay all by himself for 14 days in quarantine to make sure that he did not have COVID-19 and could not infect anyone. Junior didn't understand why he had to stay in quarantine. He was sure that he didn't have COVID-19. He had dengue fever and he felt terrible. So he decided to pray once more. Junior didn't know it, but his mother was lying in quarantine. Mother asked for special permission to be locked in quarantine with him. She wanted to take care of her son, and she was ready to spend 14 days with him. The first night that Junior was in quarantine, he suddenly woke up and saw to his surprise that he was not alone. Mother was standing at his bed. He couldn't believe his eyes. Mother, is that you? he asked. Smiling, Mother assured him that she was there, ready to care for him until he recovered. Junior smiled back. Suddenly, he felt a whole lot better. God had answered his prayers. I'm okay, he said. And he was. Junior quickly got better, and when the 14 days in quarantine ended, he went home. He was so glad to be with his uncles and aunties, his grandparents, mother, and father. He was especially glad for God's loving presence in his life. And with our mission story read and done. I enjoyed that one. I did. It's now time for us to enjoy something else. Yep, and it's Takel's Yummy Yummy in My Dummy. Takel's Tasty Treats. <laughs> My mom and I absolutely, positively love hot chocolate. During the Christmas season, we add our extra signature ingredients to our mugs. Today, we'll be making peppermint hot chocolate. Let's get started. Our ingredients for today include hot chocolate mix, hazelnut creamer, peppermint candy cane, cinnamon, ready whip, and hot water. You will also be needing a mug. Add your hot chocolate mix and water to your mug. Use your candy cane to stir in your creamer. Top with Ready Whip. Sprinkle lightly with cinnamon and serve. This week I got some really good news. I won second place in a nationwide competition my homeroom teacher Miss Fox encouraged me to enter. But even better news is telling others about Jesus and how much he loves me. Why not sip and share his love with others over mugs of peppermint hot chocolate?
sing it with me because you all know I'm gonna sing it. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Why am I singing it in that key? But anyhow, let's see. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. It, it's coming back. It, it's coming back to me. Yes. But thank you so much, Princess Takel, for another yummy, riffic, yummified, tasty treats. Thank you, my darling. And my friends and princesses, lesson 11, it's done, it's over, it's finished. And I think there's a language that says fin, and that just means it's, mm-hmm, lesson 12, it's right around the corner, coming next week, because lesson 11 is done. Can't wait to tell. You know, I can't wait to tell others about Jesus. Uh-huh, and we could do that every day. And I pray that this week, that you will be so excited to tell somebody about the love of Jesus, mm -hmm, that you too can't wait to tell and share who Jesus is to you and what he does for you. My friends and princesses, remember our heavenly father, he loves us oh so, 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 so much. And I love you too. Uh-huh, until next week, let's be good boys and girls. Mwah. Let's end with the, yes, you got it right. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in the heaven, how be my name, thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone, and we'll see you all again next week.